What's going on people, it's your boy Sam and Kirk and we're here today with our very first reveal video. Very first. Very first one bro, my man. Very first. <laughs> I'm actually a bit nervous, I can't even lie. Never thought I'd even be a YouTuber, but you know, <laughs> we're here. We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so today we wanna introduce to you a new show where we're gonna be talking about player features. So each week we will pick one player in the Premier League or outside of the Premier League and we'll just talk about their performance, how they've been this season and just their overall yeah, performance to be fair. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite excited about this first yeah, one. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been it's waiting. My guy, it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to talk about this guy for quite a while. So Sam's gonna tell you who it is. It's my boy Alex Iwobi. His boy, Alex. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't know, Sam is from Nigeria. So yes. that's why he says it's his boy, Alex Iwobi. Well, to be fair, I'm so excited to talk about Iwobi because, you know, last season, everybody was downplaying him, talking about him going on loan. I was one. Talking about <laughs> him being sold. But now, we're at this point where everybody just absolutely loves him. And I'm, and I'm, just, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Do you know what it is about Iwobi? For me, I personally think that it's just a growth. Like, yeah. you see the change in the way he plays. I'm not gonna lie, bro, you're even looking a little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, because before, Literally. before the way Wobi used to run, it's like, move, <laughs> just, just run. But you can see a change. Do you think it's yeah. down to the manager or? Um, 100%, 100% down to the manager. I mean, Emery's come into Arsenal and he's completely changed the game. He's completely completely changed the shape of how the team moves, the formation, the tactics, the substitution. You can actually see a massive change in Arsenal. You know, when Emery first came into Arsenal, I, I thought it was going to kind of be like a whole David Moyes with Manchester United kind of flow and yeah, yeah. They were just, we were just going to go down. It's and true. It, it was just like, <laughs> and no. everyone did predict that um, stuff that happened with, let's say, Manchester United, yeah. Chelsea, was kind of plummet, happen? you go yeah. down, you work your way up. Yeah. Even Liverpool, look at them now. Literally. You go down, what, sixth place, play Europa League a little bit mm. and you go down. But because that kind of decline was already there from Arsene Wenger, look, we're not even Wenger, Wenger and Wenger out <laughs> anymore, man. It's all done. It's we're all now. done we're now, not even literally. That Everyone's just looking forward to the future, whether you're an Arsenal fan, whether you're an Arsenal mm -hmm. fan, you just want to see where the club is going to go. What's the first thing that we're going to talk about with Alex Iwobi? I think, first of all, let's talk about his come up. I think when, um, obviously we all know, well, if you don't know, Alex Iwobi has actually started off in the academy. He's been there from a very, very young age. Yeah. You, can, you can even see some of the pics online, him signing when, we, when Arsenal had the uh, O2 sponsor on the shirt. <laughs> he was there from a very young age. I think what really made me look at Iwobi was his feet. The way the guy controls the ball and moves the ball with his feet was very, it was something that really caught my eye. And then he's obviously gone on to play Everton in his, um, where he scored his first Premier League goal. I remember that celebration. celebration. Literally, I remember that. It was just like the best. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if I did that <laughs> right, to be honest. But <laughs> I personally I felt like he started in the, in, the, in the first team way too early. I, I mm. personally felt like at the time that Wenger was in power um, at Arsenal, a few seasons back when Iwobi actually started, I think there was a lot of pressure that was heaped on him because at, the, at that time, everyone was looking at Arsenal's performances, yeah. how they were going to play week in, week out. And to be a young player, to come into an environment like that, you almost feel a massive... To be a young player to play professional football is hard in the first yeah, place. 100%. But then when you feel like everyone's literally scrutinising every single thing, thing that you do, it just adds a crazy level of, of pressure upon you. And... I feel like that's why Iwobi's kind of, it was like a season or two where he just mm. wasn't finding his feet. It just wasn't working. I think that's what led to everyone saying yeah. that maybe, you know, he's probably better off going on loan mm. or, or transfer. Yeah, just, yeah. just being I think transferred Bouncing off your point there, I think, it, I think his kind of um, decrease in form came at a perfect time. Because if it was a thing of where he had like, obviously started, debuted for Arsenal, didn't play too well, yeah, and obviously yeah. Wenger had a couple of years left on his contract. Then we'd really, really think about selling the guy mm. now. Yeah. But the fact that uh, that wobi has been playing well for the majority of his Arsenal career, he's had now had a decrease in form well from last season, and the fact that Wenger now had left, it's almost like okay, do we decide to sell him out on loan or or, or sell him, or do we actually keep him with the new manager? See what the new man manager can do with him, mm. and then let's just let's just hope and see whether he plays well or not. Well, why don't we talk about some of his special abilities? Because you mentioned one earlier on, which is his his uh, feet. Yeah. Um, if 
well, for those of you that don't know, quite frankly, if you don't know, I'm not too sure where you've been. But he is related to JJ Okocha, who is a Premier League legend in his own right. Nigerian <laughs> legend. Uh, Bolton Wanderers. He, uh, Nigerian legend. did his thing. Um, so he himself, it won't be always mentions about how, you know, his uncle has helped him and all that kind of stuff with his tricks and, and everything that he kind of displays on the pitch. But I will definitely have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. Es especially when we look at the last couple of matches he's played, some of the skills that he's pulled off. And for me, they don't look like, a, it doesn't look like a fluke. It doesn't look yeah. like it's, it's something that's, that's unnatural that he's trying to force. It just looks like he's just doing what, what feels natural to him. Yeah. And for me, that leads on to the next special ability, which I feel like I would name flair in a sense. I, I, would, I, I can give you that because he does emulate JJ Okocha a lot. Yeah. And they used, to, they used to use the word flair a lot to compliment JJ Okocha. So if you, I, I reckon, yeah, you can put him on this, maybe not on the same level so level, far, obviously yeah, a web has got a lot of maturing yeah. to do, but definitely, definitely there's some sort of flair. There's something, like when you watch a web you play, you're, you're almost like, oh, what can he do next? If he improves on this and improves on yeah. that, my goodness, what what kind of player are we going to get? I, I, just, I just think his movement on the ball, like, yeah. actually, as well, is, is something that's actually sublime. His ability to, to, to shift and change and to get himself into a, a pocket of space or mm -hmm. something. One thing that we've always talked about is the fact that we think that Iwobi probably likes to play the short ball a lot. Doesn't really, you know, hasn't really expanded his skill set and tried to, uh, I don't know, make a... a, a, a play the long ball or try yeah. and, you know, you see someone at the other side of the pitch and you're just going to try and sip the ball across. We haven't really seen him do much of that, but we've seen him do a lot of short passing. And it's it's the Arsenal way. Arsenal do Arsenal pass way. a lot. Of, like, do pass a lot, do all of this fast build up and all that kind of stuff. But for us, it's just like, his, the way he just shifts and changes, mm. it, it kind of suits his style. And that's, that's one massive thing. And I, yeah. I, I'm not too sure if you agree with me, but, you know, feet and flair. I, I think feet is... Is, is one thing to have yeah. feet, but to have flair is a completely different thing. Oh yeah, thing 100%. Well. Some people just look graceful on the board, they mm -hmm. look natural on the board. Yeah. You can have feet, but not everyone looks as natural, natural on yeah. the board as it I think that's what feet. makes him stand out as well. Yeah. I mean, when you look at players that have that have been known for skill, you would always relate them to flair. That's what makes them stand out and makes you watch and makes you stand up and be like, you know what, that is a player. That is a very, very skillful player. But I wanted to talk about um, his international career. <sighs> I mean, now you see a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if if you follow me on my socials, yeah, you know how much I love Nigeria. I always follow them friendlies, um, competitive games. I don't even care as long as they're playing. I'm following them and I'm keeping up with what's going on. Ghana, where you at? <laughs> I think that's another story for another day. Ghana, where you at? <laughs> sorry, sorry. That Obviously, was, I don't was, mind. Yeah. You know, you know. But, <laughs> but um, Iwobi's definitely had a massive influence on the Nigerian squad. I think it's nice to see, I want to say first of all, um, someone who's obviously, Iwobi was born in Nigeria, but he grew up over here. And to, and to see someone grow up over here and still play for kind of their, their national country or their, or their parents' home country is, is, is refreshing because it kind of just gives the other young players, you know what, I can do what Iwobi does. And if we can all come together and just take the skills that we've learned here and play for our national team, then maybe we can actually improve it there. I just want to ask a question: Where can Iwobi actually improve? What do you think is what? What, what do you think he could add to his game to make to take him a step further? Obviously, he's still young, twenty-two years of age. He could definitely, definitely needs to mature. Obviously, he hasn't reached his prime yet. Um, to be fair, watching, I'm going to base it off what what I've seen from Iwobi lately, and he, he can really improve on the way he takes his chances. I feel like he gets himself. <sighs> Into, a, into attacking positions very well. He can get himself into positions where he can cross the ball, but I feel like a, a lot of the time he doesn't deliver. And we can't neglect the fact that he's not taking his chances because he's, a play, he's in a position where he should be taking them. And if he doesn't improve that in his game, it can have a real effect on the way the manager puts him into the team or even the role he prefers to play. Do you know what I mean? If you're a creative player, of course, um, the, the majority, like the, the things the manager probably wants you to do is pass the ball well and create um, chances for the team. But there's also positions where you might be in and you might need to take a shot. And if you're not taking them well, then then it's going to have a massive effect on us. I, th I think we had this conversation a few days ago, actually, when we were, mm. we were discussing this. And I, I remember telling you that I want to see Alex Iwobi 
do something that someone like Memphis the Pie does. Okay. Which I've seen. We've seen <laughs> Memphis the Pie. We've seen someone like Human Son does it as well. We've seen people yeah. like Ronaldo. And I personally want to see because he's got the feet for it. He can do it. And as we said, he's got the movement for it as well. I want to see Wobi. I don't know cutting down the left hand side or, or running bombing it down the left yeah. flank or bombing it down the right flank and just cutting inside and just whip one top corner like I almost feel like he's not that type of player Ugh, I, it I, I would be nice to see I feel like he could add it to his game though. That, could, that's yeah. what if, if, he, if he does I feel like that's what world class players mm, do mm. where you can kind of put yourself someone like Sadio Mane yeah. I think Sadio Mane is a, is a brilliant player and if you look at him as well, some of the goals that he scored, I, I believe he's even scored a, a goal like this against Arsenal as well, where he just cuts in and he would just bend it and yeah. he would just go straight into the top corner. I feel like if you can add stuff like that to his game, of course, to in a football match, everyone needs, I don't know, a game changer, someone that can actually hold the ball well yeah. as well. But goals win you games at goals the end of the day. So imagine, you know, it will be, I don't know, 90th minute. At any point, you know I'd screw. One hundred percent, you screw. I think for the sake of my health, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but now you've made it. Now you've made it for Nigeria. Yeah, literally. In the twenty twenty two World Cup, and he cuts in and whips that ball into the top corner. I mean, he did send us to the African Cup. <laughs> so. And Ronaldo is just standing there, like <laughs> literally. Like I, I just want to see. I want to see something like that in his game.